our guest minister for tonight. Um, the media will still do a proper introduction. I got to meet him through Pastor Daniel Wokedi here. Then I was serving in one church, Pentecost Assembly. I'm, I'm not sure Pastor Dan remember the day. And then he was the one that introduced him to me. That's um, over 12 years now, well over 12 years. Well over 12 years. And I have followed the track of his ministry over the years. I'm particularly attracted to the prophetic gift of God upon his life and also his endowment towards the youth. And I've seen God do amazing work through him in the prophetic and also in the area of empowerment. He speaks with precision. He delivers the counsel of God. And so I'm expecting tonight, and I'm sure you are too, that God will yet manifest this grace through him tonight. I've seen him travel far and wide. In fact, I don't know how he does it. I told him the other time, I said, I don't understand how you do it. Today he's in Ethiopia, tomorrow he's in Belgium, next tomorrow he's there. And he travels to many of these places, he just goes half. But today he decided to come full. So we are, we are privileged to have him and his lovely wife with us. It's, it's a rare privilege. It's a rare privilege. So I, I will want to welcome her first, Lady Abigail Amuateng. Let's put our hands together as we celebrate her. Thank you so much for coming around. And if the media is ready, please let's have the intro, after which the choir will minister to us. Thank you. Pastor Brian Amwateng is a president of the Brian Jones Ministries. He is the founder and senior pastor of Mercy Life Churches Worldwide, a church in over 23 locations. He is also the chairman of the Brian Jones Foundation and CEO of 424 group of companies. He is one of the end time ministry gifts to the body of Christ. He is a strong and forthright preacher of the word and a well sought after conference speaker who travels the globe. He is affectionately called the end time revivalist. With his revelational, practical and simple messages, he has brought change and salvation to countless number of people. He is the convener of the largest youth gathering in Africa called IES, International Youth Empowerment Summit and has received several awards as the most influential in Ghana for four consecutive times and has been honored by the mayor of Columbus, Ohio, USA for his contribution to youth empowerment across the globe. Also an author, life coach, philanthropist and entrepreneur, Pastor Brian gives counsel and advice to several government and political figures across the world. He is appointed as a goodwill ambassador to UNACWA. He has a sharp and unique prophetic and healing ministry. He holds a diploma in theology, bachelor's degree in sociology from the University of Ghana, Legon, and a master's degree in human resource management and employment relations from Brunel University, United Kingdom. Pastor Brian is happily married to Abigail and blessed with two beautiful girls. Brethren, may we rise, please, as we celebrate this great servant of God, Pastor Brand Jones Amalteng.
of awesome wonders, God of miracles, nothing is too hard for you. God of breakthroughs, God of awesome wonders, God of miracles, nothing is too hard for you. God of breakthrough, God of awesome wonders, God of miracles, nothing is too hard for you. God of breakthrough, God of awesome wonders, God of miracles, nothing is too hard for you.
Lift your hands, everybody. Come on. My God. That is who you are. He's the way maker. Way maker. Miracle worker. Promise keeper. Light in the dark. My God. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands, everybody in this place. Come on. You can add a shout to it if God has been good to you. You can add a shout to it. All right. Keep standing. I want to say a big God bless you to Pastor Peter, um, all what I want to say is I love you. I love you. Such a gentleman. And um, for me, you are exceptional. You are exquisite. And of course, to see everything here, you are excellent. And not just that, you are an example to us. We love you. Let's clap our hands for... 
Please clap your hands, everybody. Keep clapping. And of course, to your to your sixteen year old wife. Everybody keeps growing old. She keeps growing younger. Thank you, mommy. We we love you and thank you for what you represent to a lot of women, not just in Nigeria, but in the world. And of course, to Pastor Dan. Um, I've known Pastor Dan for a long time. He brought me to Abuja for the first time. And Abuja is my home now. I tell people that there's nothing like half clap. It's either you clap or you don't clap. I have I have been on the road every week to different nations. I was in Ethiopia. I went to Democratic Republic of Congo. I went to the United States everywhere. And I tell my wife that she should come with me. And she said no. But when I talk to her about Abuja, she said she's coming with me. Please appreciate my wife, First Lady Abigail. Thank you so much for coming. Amen. Every pastor, of course, Mrs. Wakedi, every pastor, thank you so much. And I want to say this, you have a beautiful church. I'm not just using words, I mean it. And I, when I saw the, what your car was wearing, I was thinking, is it a wedding or what? Let's clap our hands for them. God bless you, Ifeoma. All those watching, we appreciate. If you are in Nigeria, if you are in Abuja, make sure that you are part of this Destiny Power Conference and your life will never be the same. Amen. Lift your hands, everybody. And I will not be silent. I will always worship And I will not be silent. Come on, everybody. Come on. Not be silent, and I will. I will always. I'm gonna worship you every. Come on. And as long as I am breathing, come on. As long as. As long as. Always worship. worship you. And I will not be silent. Say, I will, I will not be silent. And I will. I come on. Will always, always worship. As long as I am breathing, as long as I am breathing, breathing. and I will, I will, I will always, always worship. worship you. Lift your hands. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare over my life poverty is over shout it poverty is over in Jesus name amen clap your hands and take your seat you may be seated all right as an itinerant speaker one of the most interesting and and um Someone messaged me on Facebook and he said, how are you going to preach on that topic? The topic your pastor gave you. Because there are some topics that when they give you in some seasons, it becomes very interesting. But 
when pastor messaged me and said this word God is leading me for you to speak on and I knew that God was up to something and of course you know that on the first day the topic is wealth transfer everybody shout wealth transfer let's read some few scriptures Isaiah 45 verse 3 Isaiah 45 verse 3 and 2nd Kings chapter 7 we move to 8 straight Isaiah, if it's on the screen, can you read it? I want everybody to read it. I'm looking for a screen. Okay, one go, everybody. All right, go ahead. Second King chapter 7 verse 8. Second King chapter 7. We go to 8. It's a very long verse. I, I just want to read. There's a portion of it. One go. Somebody shout silver, silver gold, gold, and raiment. All right. Make sure that the person sitting next to you, if their declaration is louder than yours, they have taken your blessing. So make sure you get angry and get everything. Shout the loudest. Amen. Yeah. I want you to understand this, that wealth transfer, it's when resources or possessions are moved from one person to another or from a generation to another because of time let me just give you a warning it's like you're very hungry and there's a lot of food so i'm going to push a lot of food in your mouth in this short space of time so you got to follow me you don't want to miss anything there are three facts you should understand about wealth transfer. Some of wealth transfer. Pastor B, all biblical transfers of worth, wealth, that happened in the Bible, happened in difficult times. Don't forget it. It happened in difficult times. When there was economic uncertainty, either a famine or a war, Wealth transfer happened. That's number one. You never forget it. If you can get the parts, parts, all right, parts, all right, slowly. Number two, in every biblical wealth transfer, there was a prophetic voice to initiate the transfer. Why I'm saying that your pastor was led by the Spirit of God for this topic is that. Nobody should tell you that we are in difficult times. Not just in Nigeria. How can a prime minister even come just for 43 days, 44 days and say that I'm going to resign? Not because of her, because of the seasons that we are in. And you come to a place, a beautiful country called Nigeria and in front of my hotel, you see a lot of queues, cars packed. And uh, petrol or fuel later that was like 150 something now it's 178 per liter almost 200 difficult times but this is a season that God is going to transfer massive word to his people number two is spearheaded by a prophetic voice never forget it and number three, this is the most dangerous one. I want you to just get this, everybody. There is always, good God have mercy, there is always a spirit who wants to kill the prophetic voice. There is always a spirit. Never forget it. 
there is always a spirit trying to fight the prophetic voice. You see the massive war transfer that happened in 2 Kings chapter 7. And when, listen, there was so much famine to the extent that people were killing human beings. And when the women went to speak to the king, the king got angry and said, I'm going to kill and take the head of Elijah. There is always a spirit. So nothing shocks me anymore when these days, Pastor Dan, you see any little thing a pastor does is on social media. When an unbeliever flies a private jet, no problem. But when a pastor flies a private jet, there's a problem. And they talk about Titan. There is a spirit that wants to fight the prophetic voice. Whilst I was waiting and meditating on this, God said, go and tell to people in Citizens Church that no matter the condition they are in, they have been marked for that transfer that is coming. Whether you shout amen or not, it's going to come upon your life. Shout the loudest amen. I gotta run. I gotta run. I gotta run. Never forget this that wall transfer, Pastor Dan, can be as a result of an inheritance or a transfer from an enemy. There are a lot of scriptures that I can read to you. When you look at Genesis chapter 12, when Abraham had an encounter with Pharaoh and lied that um, Sarai was the sister, the Bible says, in 16 that he acquired sheep and massive work and check it there it was in the season of famine what i'm saying is that this is the right time for that transfer to come to your life do you believe what i'm talking to you about it comes as a result of an inheritance there's a woman that i was reading about just recently the name of the woman is lauren powell jobs a lot of people have not taken notice of that woman. She is worth 25 billion dollars. But it was worth wealth that she inherited from the husband. She is the wife of Steve Jobs. It was an inheritance. I'm going to make a declaration right now over a parent here. When I studied about a man in India, hear this. The name of the man is Azim Premji. He is worth, hear this, $16.5 billion. How did it happen? I'm talking about inheritance. In 1966, a 21-year-old boy, he was dropped out from school in Stanford. And he inherited the father's company. Now, the man has built a conglomerate to become the third largest IT firm in India. What am I going to declare over a parent here? You can get massive wealth, but I pray that when you are no more, your children will not mess up with that word. I'm talking to a believer in this place. Your children will not be a disappointment. The wealth that you will acquire, they will manage it well. Am I talking to somebody in the citizen's church? Shout, I am the one. Quickly, I got to push. Am I preaching to somebody? I'm going to talk to you about, whoa, 44 minutes, 44 minutes, and I got to move. I've not started preaching. I have six types of wealth transfer, but because of time, I'm going to give you two. The next year, pastor will invite me again, and I'll give you the other two. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, I feel God in this place already. God is raising some crazy billionaires in this church. Whether you like it or not, I'm talking to somebody. Hold on. Hold on for one minute. Am I preaching to somebody? Okay, number one. Types of wealth transfer. Types of wealth transfer. Supernatural wealth transfer. Supernatural wealth transfer. Ladies and gentlemen, hear this. Never ever forget it. This is something that you know. That the real you 
is not what we are seeing. The real you is the spirit. As a matter of fact, if you want to operate in the supernatural, just understand the first thing is that you are a spirit. I was reading a book and I'm going to quote from the book. I don't know where I found that book, but I'm going to show you where I found that book. It says, if you can connect to the supernatural, you can download wealth from the supernatural realm into the physical realm and become wealthy. The name of the book is Understanding Kingdom Secrets by a pastor in Abuja called Peter Balogun. He said, if you can connect to the supernatural. When I read this on the fly, I said, my goodness. So there is wealth in the supernatural. And one way of connecting to the supernatural is walking by revelation. Oh, revelation. What happened in Genesis chapter 30? I don't have time to read it. When Laban was giving some gifts to Jacob and Jacob said no. Now Jacob had a revelation. On how these sheep and goats, whilst they were mating, how can you watch something and you give birth to spotted sheep? It was by revelation. And by that revelation, in Genesis 31 verse 9, the Bible said, Jacob became so wealthy. There is too much wealth in the supernatural. As you connect to the supernatural, that wealth is coming. I said, that wealth is coming. Somebody shout supernatural. Come on, shout it louder. Supernatural. Proverbs 23 verse 5. I'm pushing myself. When I read this, I said, whoa. Give him the King James Version. Let me show you something. Proverbs 23 verse 5. Pastor Peter, when I read this, I said, okay. Then I'm now going to plug it. Read it. On the screen quickly will thy set thine eyes upon that which is not for riches certainly make themselves wings in other words wealth has wings hold it and where do they fly to they fly as an eagle toward the supernatural so there are wealth that has taken off and is in heaven if i can connect by revelation if i can connect by revelation there's an army coming from Citizens Church. Pastor Balogun, this is your first word. I don't have time. I'm going to push. When I knew you, everybody told me that you have to meet this man. You can't talk about revival in Abuja and not mention this man's name. This is what God said as we tell you. There's too much wealth that is coming. From the supernatural, you are raising multi billionaires that will push you to your next level. Come on, shout yes! Oh, come on, come on, citizen says, shout yes! Sit down for one minute. Am I preaching? That's why, in the time I walk and I blast in tongues, I'm not mad, I'm walking by revelation. Go and get the book. If you don't have that book, go and get it. Understanding Kingdom Secrets, chapter 1, page 14. Go get the book. You understand how you have to walk by revelation. I read that chapter. I did my notes on it. And I'm going to preach. If someone asks you, where did you get it? I say, oh, Holy Ghost gave it to me. But I read it from Understanding Kingdom Secrets. Clap your hands for your pastor. Is there anybody in this place that wants to connect wealth from the supernatural? You are the candidate. It is coming. 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 On the first day of this conference, receive it. Shall I receive it? Number two. Woo. Number two. I've not started my preaching. Number two. The power to make wealth. Ooh. Proverbs 10 22. Proverbs 10 22. I want someone to come. Come here. Proverbs, come on, come here. Oh. 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 Ooh, I 
are feeling. The blessing of the Lord, it will make you rich and it will add no sorrow. Okay. So the blessing of the Lord, good God have mercy, it is not the riches. God will bless you with something. So stop praying to God for a car. He doesn't give a car. Stop praying for money. He doesn't give for money. He will give you something. It's called the blessing. When the blessing comes upon your life, no devil can stop you. Oh, come on. Citizen Church, am I preaching to somebody? So, so watch this. So watch this. Watch this. I need wealth. He will give you a blessing. That is why, Pastor Dan, when someone is truly blessed, you can take away their house. You can take away their car. You can take away their husband. But if you can't take away the blessing, you are a failure. Receive the blessing. Shout, I receive it. Oh, come on. Receive the blessing. I feel it. You know what? Go to three people. Tell them, I am blessed more than you. I'm blessed more than you. I'm blessed more than you. I'm blessed more than you. more than you. You know what? So, so, so this thing. Woo. Pastor Peter, now I understood that there were two men, Jacob and Esau. Isaac blessed Jacob. Jacob ran away. Jacob left the cattle. Jacob left the Range Rover. Jacob left the, all the lands. But when Esau came, Esau went to the father. He said, Papa, bless me. A blessing is something that comes upon your life that you don't see it and it will bring wealth to your life. Oh, where are the billionaires in this church? Where are the billionaires in citizen? The church, we are going to march in money. The devil don't like it when we talk about money. But the devil is a bastard. The devil is a fool. Wealth is coming. Millions are coming. Dollars are coming. Pounds are coming. Jump and shout, I receive it. Oh, sit down for one minute. I've not started my preaching. I'm sorry. Everything I'm telling you is my introduction. So Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, he says something. He said, ye shall remember the Lord thy God. Because it is he that giveth thee power. That giveth thee power to get wealth. Oh, who needs that power? Who needs that power? Who needs that power? I want to talk to all the women in the house. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Hey! Look at somebody say, hey! Hey! Who are feeling? Sit down for one minute. Whoa. Help me, Holy Spirit. One of the blessings, hold on, everybody hear this? One of the blessings that God blesses you with. Can I talk to you? Come on, can I talk to you? Pastor Dan, one of the blessings God blesses you with is called the blessing of ideas. I have some friends, Pastor Balogun, I have some friends. I know them, but they don't know me. The first one is called Elon Musk. He is worth 214. Point zero billion dollars. He was not born with two one four billion dollars, but he was born with a two one four billion dollar idea. I'm closing. Let me tell you the name of my other friend. I know them, but they didn't know me. But very soon we will meet. 
The second one is called Jeff Bezos. 142.7 billion. He was not born with 142 billion in the pocket, but he was born with a 142 billion dollar idea. As for this one, he's a bit some way. They call him Bill Gates. 102.4 billion. Warren Buffett, 98.8 billion. Oh, but I refuse to only mention their names. I'm about to put my name there right now because right after this conference, I'm going to be among that category. The wealth transfer is coming. Oh, come on. Am I talking to some young men here? So I am the one. Sit down for one minute. Sit down. Sit down. Oh. Am I preaching to somebody? I wish I had time. Maybe I told you I'll give you two. Let me give you the last one. Then I'll go to my last point and I'm done. Are you being blessed? Come on, you got to smile. Are you being blessed? Preaching is not easy. Especially when you're preaching before Apostle good heart. Are you for real? Come on, say I am blessed. Next time, don't let me start the meeting. I beg you. <laughs> Number three, I want to talk to you about. Are you ready? Strategic relationship. Oh. If I was going to talk to you, if I had time, this is what I was going to say. Your worth is defined by the people you are connected to. Ladies and gentlemen, I beg you, I beg you, oh, build relationship. Your network is your net worth. I wish I can talk to somebody. At least if I come here, I won't see the time. So let me come and stand here. Let me shock you with something. One of the greatest gifts God has blessed me with. Oh, I can go back. May you become a billionaire. One of the greatest gifts God has given me is the blessing of men. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, God can bring one person your way that will change your whole life. All what you need is an introduction. Oh. That is why I tell people, please, drop that attitude. Respect people. If you come to church and pastor tells you, go around and talk to seven people. Don't always select the rich people. Because the tables can turn at any time. The devil is a liar. Citizen church. The steps of a good man. They are ordered by the law. I see your helpers coming. Shut yes. Sit down. Sit down. Am I preaching? I've not started though. When I'm standing there as if I'm a gentleman. I'm not a gentleman at all. Until I break the backbone of poverty tonight. I'm not leaving this place. Oh. I just heard this in my right ear. You will. You Listen. Enough of being a tenant. Enough. I said enough. Are you tired of being a tenant? Receive that land to build your own mansion. Shut sure, yes! Pastor, that is why when I meet genuine people, I hold them dear. I've met this man for 12 years. We've never fought. I hold him dear. I brought a man to come and speak at my event in Ghana. I can't mention his name. It's on YouTube. He said, the man is one of the billionaires in Ghana. How did he become a billionaire? He was on the queue in New York airport. He built some stuff and he was going to pay with his card. Somebody was in front of him. When the man got there, the man couldn't find his card. So he tapped the man and said, Sir, what is going on? He said, I lost my card. He said, don't worry, I'll pay for you. Then the man swiped. The man bought Beats earphone. And the man wrote his number. He said, give me your number. You have paid for my Beats. I will pay you back. And the man said, don't worry. He said, I will pay you back. 
When my friend got to Ghana, the man called him. He said, sir, I have your money ready, but I can't send it. Come to Malaysia. I've bought your business class ticket. Come and I'll give you back your money. Wait. He said, ah, but send it. You are spending more money. He said, don't worry. Come. You did me well. Just come. When the man got to that country, he looked at him and said, you know what? My family owns some oil reserves in Saudi or something. What work do you do? He said, I did my master's in oil and gas and something. He said, I want to make you my, my number one soul distributor. Now as I speak, the man is one of the billionaires in Ghana. How did it come? Strategic relationship. Sister, if you are if it was you, you say, hey, 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 hurry up and let me pay my thing and go. You don't know where the blessing is going to come from. Respect people. We can hold on. Hold on. Can I talk to somebody? Pastor Balogun, maybe you will invite me here again. So let me finish preaching all my preaching. Can I preach to somebody? I might be in the prison with you. But give me some few months, I'll be the prime minister. So don't think we are the same. Oh, come on, shout like you are talking to somebody. Am I talking to somebody? Shout yes. I'm giving you types of world transfer. I can't finish. So when somebody sits by you in church, say hello. Say hello. He might be the manager you are going to see on Monday. Strategic relationship. It's a type of wealth transfer. Pastor, if I had time, even when you associate yourself with people, what is on them falls on you? Joseph was a dreamer. <laughs> when he got into the prison, they started dreaming. They never dreamt. But when he got into prison, they started dreaming. When he got into the palace, dreams started. So Laban looked at Jacob and said, I have led by divination that when I join citizens' church, I am blessed. So be careful the church you go. If you get a good church, plant yourself, be a member, be a tighter. Am I talking to somebody? Attack on at the basic. Ah! Come and stand here. The devil is a liar. I break the backbone of poverty. I break the backbone of poverty. Stand there, stand there. No, stand there. No, no, I'm preaching. Stand there. Don't distort me. Strategic relationship. Treat people well. Twenty-five minutes. What am I going to do with twenty-five minutes? I have not even started singing. Oh, Lua, and your lato be do a ribiti a rabata, and your lato be do a ribiti a rabata. Then your lato be to all over. Sit down, you are delaying me. Then your lato be to ha ha. Oh, Lua, what's about a good London to Abuja is six hours. You can't give me one hour. Where I'm coming is far. A ribiti, a rabata. And your light will be too. Hey, a ribiti, a rabata. <laughs> and your light will be too. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. When you go to somebody's house for the first time, don't eat too much. <laughs> Behave yourself. 
I know my wife is saying, you are disgracing me. Ay, stick to the time. Pastor Brian, you have showed me the types of wealth transfer. Now, how do I position myself for wealth transfer? Am I teaching well? My God. Number one, quickly. I got to move. Matthew 6, 33. The first one. Seek God's interest first. I'm telling you. There's something that has been my motto. Seek ye first the kingdom and all other things. Can I say something, Pastor Balogun? A car cannot give me Jesus. A house cannot give me Jesus. But when I get Jesus, he comes with a package. Seek God's interest first. Don't be, oh good God. I feel something boiling in my spirit. Don't be a partial Christian. Don't only come to church when you are in trouble. Always show up. In my greatest pain, I will still love God. The greatest and highest form of praise is when you praise God in your pain. Oh, can I talk to somebody? I pray for a desire for you to serve God well. In the spirit of backsliding, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Son, I rebuke it. Number one, seek God's interest first. Seek God's interest first. Give me seven minutes and I'll be done. By the way, if I say seven minutes, I don't mean it. <laughs> Number two, I'm closing on this. Just bring the parts up. How can I finish this in 20 minutes? I should ride on. Thank you. May you live long. Let me tell you this. How to position yourself for well transit, Mama? Pastor, I wrote here and I'm going to explain intentionally build strategic alliances you won't understand but pastor I learned something from my master my master Jesus hmm. the people that you taught were unbelievers he intentionally took them as their friends so he got there and said Zacchaeus I know the whole Nigeria, they don't like you, but I'm coming to your house. And after preaching to him, Zacchaeus said, everything I have, half of it, I give it to the poor. Wealth transfer by relationship, intentionally. There was a woman, his name was Joanna. The husband was called Kush, the manager of Herod's household. Close alliance with Jesus. A woman called Magdala. The woman from Magdala, Mary Magdalene, broke the alabaster oil. It was worth $18,000. He she broke it. Jesus said, wow, you have to be my church member. Yes, Jesus said it. You have to be my church member. Hmm. Let me show you something. Billy Graham made a statement. He said he intentionally built alliance with the White House. Why? In the country he was going, the White House will write a letter. When the country sees the letter from the White House on the letterhead, they open the country to him. Intentional, strategic alliance. I'm preaching to somebody. I'm going to close right now. Don't forget it. Am I blessing somebody? Oh, Pastor, I love your church. When I finish, all what we are going to do is we are going to pray. I'm going to provoke somebody right now. Why the church needs money? When you read Acts chapter 4, when you see the times of the apostles, ladies and gentlemen, and you saw the numbers were increasing, 
They had three things. Can I preach to somebody? They had three things. In the days of the Acts of the Apostles, they had love. There was love in the church those days. Number two, they had anointing. Number three, they had wealth. Check from the Bible. He said, and they gave to each other and none of them lacked. None of them lacked. Everybody came to church in their own car. None of them lacked. Love, anointing, and wealth. But these days, where is the wealth? When you talk about wealth, people start to look at you funny. And that is the devil's way. I've not, now I'm starting my preaching. Let me provoke somebody right now. Why you need the money? Pastor, when I saw this, 20% of the world's population controls 95% of the wealth. And the remaining 80% is struggling with 5%. According to the census by UNICEF, 22,000 kids die every day. And they die quietly in some of the poorest villages on earth. And in 2020, 5 million children under 5 years died. And 2 million was as a result of poverty. Number three, almost 60 million children in primary school age are not in school because of poverty. And we say we are the salt of the earth. What salt? We are the light of the world. What light? I come here and I see the excellence. My God. My God. I'm closing. This will shock you. Over 70% of divorce cases is because of money. I'm telling you. All the fight in your house is because of money. When you don't have money, if your wife is even calling you, hey, hey! He, she is calling you to put up the TV. Hey! Because of money, you are always angry. Yes. Am I preaching somebody? You are always angry. I'm telling you. And there are a lot of fighting lot of fighting in the home but money is coming and their wives husbands when the wife starts calling you honey honey it means money money <laughs> you will never be broke again in your life you will never be broke again in your life look at the excellence in the church look at the excellence in the church i'm getting angry right now Look at the excellence. Look at what this man has done in some few years. You think the people watching out there, they are watching because of anointing. They are watching because of internet data. And you don't buy internet data because you are Pastor Balogun. You buy it with money. See the excellence. This church, eh, when you are praying for people, you don't suffer. Because when they see the carpet, they will fall down themselves. I'm telling you. See the carpet. No debt. There are churches when you are praying for people. Before they fall down, they look at the carpet. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Come on, clap and shout. Like you are the billionaire in the church. Come on, say yes. See it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. See it. Do you know how much it takes to do crusades? There was a preacher in America. One of his crusades used to cost ten million dollars. One day, someone is going to walk to you and sign a check of five million dollars to you. The one that shouted the loudest amen, you are the one. Sorry. Yes. Sit down and let me end on this. The last one. Be a dangerous giver. Be a dangerous giver. Listen. I can only talk about one person. His name is God. When he needed a change, he gave. And he gave his best. For God so loved the world that he gave. Be a dangerous giver. Pastor. There was a pastor raised
losing fans in the church. I'm sorry if I go off the time. I'm very sorry. Everything I said was my introduction, but I'm sorry. A pastor was raising fans in the church. A man got up and said, I know I'm going to give $100,000. The pastor was very happy. The man jumped on the flight. The ambulance came in on the flight. Everybody was shaking. The man crossed their leg, was playing game. When the plane landed, someone walked to him and said, ah, everybody was crying and thinking that they would die. You were playing game. He said, you don't know where I'm coming from. I just made a pledge to God that I'll give $100,000. If I die, God will lose. That is the type of faith I need here. Pastor, I came to tell you something. I see you building Citizens University. I'm prophesying. I have faith right now. You better be sensitive. Am I talking to somebody? I see you building over a 20,000 seater church. Don't, for, don't, don't ever worry where the fault is going to come from. Oh, can I say something? He will make a way in the wilderness. I speak over everybody in this place. The world is coming. The world is coming. Wild is coming. I'm going, to, I'm going to let us make a declaration. If you remember, my main text I have to preach on is Second Kings 7 about the four lepers. I haven't even started that one. Keep standing. Keep standing. And I see Hallelujah. And I see Hallelujah. Jehovah, Meli wo, Meli wo, Ibo si bi niwe. And I see Hallelujah. Oh, and I see Hallelujah. I have ten minutes. Ibo si bi niwe. Hey, Anasi, introduction I'm going to release this word for somebody who is ready Joshua chapter 1 verse 3 hi, 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 hi. something just came on me right now something just came on me right now Joshua put it on the screen one go I like the version that says wherever give me that version he said Hayanama Eh? If you forget everything, I'm not seeing the time. Look at it. I'm not seeing the time. Wherever the soul of my feet shall tread, the citizen church, the God we serve here, He will give you the place. 
body take two steps and shout wherever shout it wherever Steve Stanley, pastor can I say something when there is difficult times we tend to relocate but if this word is your word that wherever eh, take me to Kaduna I will prosper where is the poorest place in, in this country that you know where eh, don't mention anybody's village name before you get into trouble where 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 huh what Zamfara eh wherever they take you they should take you to Zamfara you will prosper somebody say wherever something three times two three Wherever the source, look at me. Me, my name is wherever preacher. Oh no, anywhere, take me, I will be there. I got to Ethiopia, the revival that broke in Ethiopia. I knew that God had given me wherever anointing. We shake that anointing. Shout wherever. Number two, closing. Number two, Psalm 1, and we read to 3. Are you ready for this one? Are you ready? Because of time, we will take only one prayer. Because I can't see the time. Psalm 1 verse 3. Quickly. I need it on the screen. Everybody read it. One go. Okay. And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves shall not wither. And listen, listen. Number one is wherever. Number two is whatsoever. Sister, you can sell into me and become a billionaire. Because my name is wherever. Do you believe it? Shut up, believe it! Now! Whatsoever. 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 Let me give you the last one. Isaiah 54 verse 15. I'm going to pray one prayer. Oh, thank you. 54 verse 15. I want you to read it. Everybody get up. My time is up. 54 verse 15. Just read it, everybody. Whosoever lift up second Samuel 333. I'll close very soon. Second Samuel 333. I want you on the screen. Is it there? Is it there? Second Samuel 3. I'm going to pray. Can we take these six prayers at a go? Number one, Lord, enlarge my territory. Shout it louder. Number two, may I live to enjoy the fruit of my labor. Number three, bless me with ideas to make wealth. Number four, any generational pattern affecting my finances, deliver me now. The last one. A good man, a righteous man leaves an inheritance for the children's children. The grace for generational wealth. Listen, you are about to pray. I don't
don't know why your pastor gave me this topic. But I can boldly tell you he's a spiritual man. Last year, an angel walked to me and placed a key in my hands. And he said, Brian, anybody that you lay your hands on, they will never be poor. We were on Zoom, Pastor. I will mention the name. The name of the message is called Cindy in Arizona. Next two weeks, I'm going to Arizona. I said, receive that cancellation. Pastor, within three weeks, the lady received a debt cancellation of $500,000. And God said, I have put that thing on you. I came to start this meeting for one assignment. To push you in the arena of wealth. I'm telling you. Ah, do you know why you pray too much and you want to talk every day because of money now your prayer has been so long but when you have money you just be lying down and you will be thanking God we are going to pray just for two minutes in the spirit scattering which is the things I gather you that spirit I come against you say my father my father oh are there prayer warriors here Son, my father, my father, and the spirit from my father's house, from my mother's house, fighting my finances. Oh, Jehovah, you that spirit, I rebuke you now, now, now. Clap your hands, open your mouth and pray. Up your hands, pray. I need the drums, I need oil. I don't like the way you are praying. Clap your hands and pray like a believer. minute more one minute more pray wow are you praying More pray, clap your hands and pray. I satani abasuatapaya. like you believe it yeah. sit down for one minute pastor you invited me so borrow me 10 minutes thank you sir 
But when a prophet says 10 minutes in the spirit is more. Are you blessed? Spread out your hands and let's pray for this man. Pastor, is he a member of the church? I saw that this man had gathered some things like gold. And all of a sudden, a vulture with some long wings came to scatter it. The vulture has been sent from Anambra. This man is supposed to be a billionaire by now. But things have delayed. But I walked to the back and the Spirit of God said, The power of delay has been broken. Oh, are you shouting amen or what? Are you shouting amen or what? I'm going to pour oil on the hands and thou sayest the Lord. Wealth. This man will enter into number one, transport business. Number two, real estate. He will buy lands, sell, build and sell. And a demon from Anambra, we cross that demon by the head. Oh, are you shouting amen at all? Somebody say fire! Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Don't worry. Are you being blessed? Radu Namasi Atakaba. Father, deliver this family. Deliver this family. Amen. You know what? Just sit down. They, they won't fall. I tell you, this church, they won't fall. Don't worry. Say, so come and stand here. Parush Kepetega. Any agent of death shot against you, I reverse it. Shot against this woman, I reverse it. I reverse it right now. I reverse it right now. Some said, I reverse it. Church, <laughs> go and lie on the altar and come back. Lie on the altar and come back. Come back as you are coming back. I'm not hearing Clement. We will pray for Jumoke. Jumoke. Who is Jumoke? My wife. Come on. My two shut up. No, 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 no. Don't clap. If you clap, you are delaying my time. And the bad news they shot. An elevation is coming. But I saw somebody push in Jumoke. Jumoke will not perish. Come on. Oh, are you shouting amen at all? Are you shouting amen at all? Citizens Church, I declare after this year's conference, your story has changed. Let your enemy be louder. Sit down. Sit down. Are you being blessed? Uh -uh. Are you being blessed? Mm -hmm. Wonyaka so kibo inyaka ao Wonyaka Jesus you my only no Wonyaka Wonyaka so kibo child they wanted to attack a child of this man they wanted to attack a child of this man 
It's all because, listen, anytime someone is on assignment, the devil will come after you. But there's a hand. Let me tell you something. If you are part of this ministry, make up your mind and be an active member. There is something in this church. Oh, come on. There is something in this church. Give me your hand. What word do you do, sir? What word do you do? Huh? Is there a, another microphone, please? We're trained in electrical engineer. God is going to honor you. I'm closing. He's going to honor you. Your hands will not bury any seed of yours. Oluwa need feminikai. That's what I'm hearing. Oluwa need feminikai. Some people even call her Nini. Nini. Give me the audio. I reverse it. I reverse it. Where's your wife? Your wife didn't come. You have a child. Where's she? My wife. I left them in the office. What's the name? Nifemi, Uluwa Nifemi, and Uluwa Damilala. I see it raining on this side. Then I ask the Lord, what name fits you? Ha! Then he said, yeah.
shout at me like you believe it. Sir, is it your father or your mother that comes from Anambra? Your father, Uka. Let me tell you something. You have suffered, you have lost some money. But look at me. The keys God gave me. I put it on your hands. You are walking out of this building as a billionaire. Is that your wife? I declare. Oh. Blessing. 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 Name. Blessing. As your name is. Sir, stand there. What's your name? Adebisi. 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 But we we'll pray for Adet Olapo. Your daughter. Yes, sir. sir. Come to me. Yeshua.
Pastor. It's on me. It's on me. Under this anointing, you are saying that Pastor Brian, listen, this one, even if it's one person, I'll be okay. I'll be. The pastor, I want to be the one to break the backbone of poverty. Number two, I need a pen around in my finances. Look at me, I'm a too much crazy kid. My wife is my witness. I was doing my event in America, ISUS. They brought me the budget. I said, these people are, are, are they normal. Immediately, I heard a voice. He said, you have some money in your account. Take it and go and give it to a man of God in America. I, I took the money, gave it to the man of God. And sometimes, our man of God, when they pray for you, as if they don't like the money. Bless you, bless you. Hey. Immediately, you leave to, they are going to open the envelope. Some of them, they don't open the envelope from here. Receive the blessing because I understood that it has come on me. I, I went, went to the invite. Pastor, I invited someone to come and speak at my event. After the event, he said, Pastor, something tells me I should give you something. Come to my house. I said, I don't go to people's house. He said, I beg you, come. I went. When I was leaving, he gave me an envelope. When I opened it, it was times two of the budget of my event. Nobody ever gives. And it's left the same. Came in here, your pastor brought me because he knows what I carry. I've been doing this for years. No damage, no entertainment. I hear from God and I speak. He said, Call people, the key I have placed on you, anoint them from this time to tomorrow night. They are planting a seed of just one million naira. That is what they have, and they will do it. If you're like that person, come to me. Come. Come. God bless you. Now come see, now see. Come yes, you are the one. Come here, come here. Come yes, you are the one. Come, come, come to me. Mama, do you have children? Nobody can take away your joy. Nobody can take away your joy. Believe it. That is your word. No, stand there. Stand there. You are bringing it to online. If you want to do it online, you are going to do it. I know the number that I saw. Pastor Dan, I want you to count them for me. Mm. Can you? Oh, what's your name, sir? Huh? Cortez. I'll do something for you. I don't have it here. You can go with me to my hotel by your pastor's ministry. I have a currency called pounds. I might even give you just five pounds. Just keep it. You will be billionaire in a foreign currency. Take it. Pastor, come them for me. There are three people that have to come and do this. Oh! God bless you. Let your living waters flow. Farmers. Let me tell you why I raised that song. I saw sickness eh? leaving people's body like vapor. <laughs> Pastor, the most painful thing is when you have the money. I would have shown you, I, I showed you types of wealth transfer. I would have shown you types of wealth. I couldn't see it. Hold the envelope and, and ask God for just one thing. God bless you. I need to issue 
hand, exactly 20. If you are sitting down and you know you can do it, just be obedient and come. No, I didn't come here to raise funds. No, 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 no. I didn't come here. I came here to be led by God. Forgive me. I beg you, those of you that live far. As for tomorrow, we will come early and close. At this our yearly conference. Hey! Hey! Sing to the Father.
obedient, I know the giving details are on the screen. If you send it, send your name. And we will make sure that we will present your name to this altar. If you are watching this, this message and broadcast has blessed you. Don't sit down and criticize us. You have been able to watch it because of money. Now people sit on TV and they castigate pastors. And when the thing is not favoring them, they invent their own theology about prosperity. It's a fit. I don't want to go into details. I saw something in my vision. Bring it to me. But because of time, let me just end. It's okay. Thank you for your Nigeria shall rise again. Nigeria shall rise again. That is the details. Pastor, I see you standing on a big land that you can't even see the end. Market. You don't even see the end. Market. What you can do is 50,000. Come and pick up an emblem. Come and pick up an emblem. 50,000. Thank you. I want to pray for you by the gospel of time. Maybe your pastor will invite you next time. Maybe invite you. There's a man sitting there. I know you from that man. Yeah. Yes. Where? Where? What, what church? Was it Pentecost? What? Glory Tabernacle Asokoro. I've preached in churches there. Because your face looks familiar. Pastor Bolaji. Wow. You see, my name is called Pastor Babadi. Bilone, come here. Go and sit on my chair. What you can do is 20,000. Come. You know what? This atmosphere, determine yourself that you give. And you give something you haven't given before. After the service, locate pastor. He will pick oil and pour it in your shoe. That is it. Go and anoint that your daughter. That your daughter will be too great. Go and anoint that your daughter. And tell your wife to be in church. She didn't stay when there's a major convention. Oh, Pastor, you have a powerful church. Give me that place. You can do 10,000, 5,000, come. 50,000, God bless you. Thank you. 10,000, 5,000, my time is up. For all night. Make sure if you can do it right now, do it right now. You want to bring it tomorrow? Sing it, sing it. Yeah, yeah. Come and sing it. It's part of the administration.
between you just left you. Ah, take it. I have confidence in you. I chat too much, and you are sitting by my wife. Get up. <laughs> Thank you. When the money comes, look for me. All right. Do you know why I'm so happy in Abuja? Pastor Dan, get up. Everybody I prayed for in Pastor Dan's church, the prophecy has come to pass. Everybody. No, no, no. This is the pastor of the church. A guy in Atlanta, as for that one, I'm going to Atlanta next two weeks. I spoke as a Jew, you will be your Lord. destiny is in Atlanta. He called me and said, The guy is in Atlanta. The papers have come green card, blue card, red card, every card he has there. I might not be able to come to you and point you, but you can never be under rain and never get wet. Do you know our last prayer? In the midst of famine, everybody was complaining. He sold and reaped. Everybody's complaining in Nigeria. And this, ABC, WAB, ABC. No, 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 no. I operate on another kingdom. Yes. I lift up this flag. If you're a Nigerian, get up. Nigerian kid. Pastor, thank you. I know you are not happy with me, but you can't do anything to me. You invited me. But sometimes, in this little, maybe I've delayed you maybe for 30 minutes or something, but you don't know the things that you have been delivered from. I hope I started the meeting well. Because in a relay race, the baton, the person that starts count. So I made sure I start well. But you know what? I didn't come here just to preach you. I'm part of the conference. And next year, you are inviting me by fire by force. <laughs> are you blessed? I'm going to stand on the stage, then we'll pray for Nigeria. Then I'm done. But do me a favor, bring pastor's pictures back. 
And let's pray for your pastor. This lady, if I start, I won't finish. If I start, I won't finish. Because I saw the thing. If I start, I won't finish. But I'll tell you one thing. Walk in favor. I just had tell her to walk in favor. Walk in favor. That's your name. Favor. If I start, I won't finish. Walk in favor. Walk in favor. Walk in favor. What's your name? Who is Uche now? You are Uche. And you too, you are Uche. I told you I won't finish. Never think that your life has been delayed. Never think. I'm telling you. Hear this. I've seen a screen. Pastor, ow! The thing comes on me and I get goosebumps. You help people, you help people. People are about to help you. The spirit of delay has been broken. From your life to death. Utena favor. Now, the spell. You are not a goalkeeper. Good. That's why I said if I start. Mama, can I tell you something? Come and hug this lady. That's all. And I want women to stand by them. Something is happening. Hug this lady. I have confidence in you. Jesus. I have confidence in you. Wow. He says something, but he didn't know. 
You might think tonight is the last night, but it's the first night. I want to do it. And pardon me. Sir. I have 10, 10. If you are a pastor in this church, in citizen, come and stand by daddy. Daddy, come. Daddy, come. revival in Abuja here and you know mention this must be the secret pains of pastors only them together can discuss it but we stand behind you as our father and we are saying that when your hands are getting weaker we will forever hold your hands shout amen like you're a loyal son or a doctor We start this revival. We are going deeper in the, in the depths of God. And, and we are saying that stretch forth your hands. We are saying, Pastor, we love you. Open your mouth and bless them. Bless them. Bless them. I have confidence in you. Yeah. Father, any Nigerian, stretch out your hands. Daddy and mommy can go back to their seat. Father, we start this revival. We start this revival. People are complaining that the world is facing economic crisis. I declare the same way Isaac was different. I declare you different. Shout, I am different seven times. Everybody in this church are going to pick a thousand naira, five hundred, two hundred, 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 fifty. You are going to say, Father, I thank you for the wealth you have released on me. Keep standing and pick it and come and drop it right now. There are baskets where you are. Drop it right now. Then I'll close. Everybody, you believe that something has happened to you. Come and drop it. Have you been blessed? How many of you are inviting three people tomorrow? Tomorrow 11 a.m. we are here. Can you sing Adonai for me? Ah. Oh, glory. God bless you. Thank you. You are giving online, give. For God loves a cheerful giver. Give. Thank you. Let it go.
I just saw. Wait, wait. No, no. Stop singing. I just saw here. Time is up. Hey. I just saw it. So, you sing it because my time is up. You are saying that, Pastor Brian, I want to be born again. I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. Pastor, you know something? Everything about today is prophetic. You got the microphone and you read Luke chapter 5 about the boats. Why God, Jesus entered the boat of Peter was that he could trust Peter. Why? When the wealth transfer came, Peter was able to call the other brothers. I'm not going to it. Rise onto your feet, everybody. You are saying that, Pastor Brian, I want to be born again. I saw the billboards in town and I've come, but I've seen the move of God. I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. With every eye closed, if you're like that person, come to me. Come. You want to accept Jesus? Come. You don't belong to any church. You're only part of the citizen's family. Come. Let me pray with you, everybody. Come. You want to be born again. You want to be saved. Come. Come. Say this after me. Come. Say, Lord Jesus. Everybody say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. Please, Lord, forgive me my sins. Have mercy on me. Write my name in the book of life. Satan, listen to me. I belong to Jesus and I will serve Jesus the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. The one that wrote time is up. Come, I want to see you. I'm, I'm very serious. The one that wrote time is up. Come. Come. Quickly. The media people, come. Quickly. Come. Quickly, quickly. Hurry up. Run. Let me pray for you. These people are doing so much. All the media people, God bless you. Amen. Hear this. The greatest harm you can do to yourself this week is to miss this conference. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m., 11.30 a.m., the mystery of worship, and in the evening, I'm coming myself. Let me tell you this. 
I am now a full member of this church. Wait. Whether you clap or you don't clap, I am a member. And I am inviting myself again in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Pastor Marvel, I love you. Let's welcome Pastor. God bless you. He couldn't even read to the end of his introduction. How many of us have been blessed? You know, when I took the microphone and I said, even though today is the first day, but by the time we are ending this service, you will feel as though it's the last day. I said that because I heard it. And if today has been this way then i don't think any of us can imagine what the rest of the day will be like can we please all stand and with a heart of gratitude let's put our hands together and celebrate the grace of god upon his servant pastor brian let it keep going louder until he's ready Pastor Jones, we deeply appreciate your surrender to the Lord, the way you have allowed God use you for us this evening. I believe that that prayer that we prayed, that God should put a word in your mouth, that That will be the solution to people's problems. I believe that God answered that prayer. If you are a witness in the house tonight, let me see you wave your hands to the Lord. Now put those hands together as we appreciate God. Thank you so much. The Bible says that um, it is not of him that will it. Neither is it of him that run it. But it is of God. That showeth mercy. And when God would want to show mercy to a people, He causes time and chance to walk in their favor. And I believe that God made time and chance to walk in our favor tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tomorrow, 11 30, you'll be here. So that you can finish up what you have started. Um, I can't say to you again that you shouldn't miss tomorrow's lunch hour service. And of course, you know, in the evening, the evening tomorrow is deliverance service. And the theme is deep deliverance. When I was praying to receive instruction about this conference, God said to me, he said, there are deliverances that take place at the surface. He said, but there are deep deliverances. So God said he's going to manifest his power in our midst tomorrow for deep deliverance. So please don't miss that service also. God is going to get to the root of every problem and God is going to destroy them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Again, I celebrate Pastor Brian. I celebrate his lovely wife and all the pastors in the house. And for every one of you who came tonight, I celebrate you. Those of you who are online watching, I celebrate you. I celebrate you all. Uh, choir, you've done marvelously well tonight. All the workers, I celebrate you all. By the grace of God, we will see tomorrow at 11.30. Just one more thing to go and then we'll be on our way. Let's put our hands together as we have our seats.
Somebody say yay! I can't hear you. Someone who has been blessed to Sydney, can I hear you shout yay! I am too blessed. What about you? I am more than blessed tonight. Who has been blessed tonight? Can I hear you shout again? Hallelujah. We'd like to welcome some special people in our midst this evening. Those who are worshipping here for the first time, Destiny Park Conference or the Citizens Church, if today is your first time, we ask that you please rise. We'd like to welcome you. Please let's welcome them if today is your first time. Please let's clap for them. We thank you for joining us tonight and I'm sure you've all been blessed. Tomorrow is another day and you wouldn't want to miss it. 11.30, we have um, the launcher at 11.30. Please be here. As Pastor has said, it's the mystery of worship. That's the theme. Please sit down. Thank you. And at 5.30, it's the healing and deliverance service with the theme, Deep Deliverance deep deliverance time is 5 30 and we also like to remind everyone that we should be here for 15 minutes to worship god come with your prayer request and just spend 15 minutes alone to worship god before we start the service he has said those who didn't come today try and make it tomorrow god will answer all our prayers in jesus name may we all rise as we bring the service to a close Remember, we are marked for transfer. So as we go out today, let's convert that world from that supernatural. And the almighty God will make all of us to experience it in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you again for your presence. As we go, please go with us in Jesus' name. All you have done for us, we will not lose in the name of Jesus. When we come tomorrow again, we pray you'll be here to attend to all our requests in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. May we share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you as you go.